Attitude was also a big factor in the Astrodome last week. For Coach Rick Forzano of the Lions, the attitude was that of a man who had seen big trouble in his future. The big trouble was O.A. Bum Phillips and his vibrant Houston Oilers, a team whose rapid improvement, Bum says, is due to the right feelings about the team and the game. This year, the Houston Oilers lead the entire league in defense against the rush, as well as in sacking opponents' quarterbacks, all of which means that the men in powder blue can make talcum powder out of you. If it's attitude that counts, Bum Phillips has himself a self-sacrificing, hard-hitting bunch. While defense wins ball games in Houston, the offense has come a long way too. The running game has been rebuilt with young crunchers like Don Hardiman and number 47, Ronnie Coleman. Dante Pastorini has continued to improve at quarterback, and while plays like this one were all too frequent in the past, now they're a rarity. More often, the passing game is high-powered and dangerously fast. Last week, double-O, Ken Burrow simply outsped the Lions secondary for this touchdown. And while Burrow is certainly a threat, a major reason for Houston's improved scoring is a tiny nuclear device named Billy White Shoes Johnson. He explodes in all directions, and if he gets the ball, you're under attack. Last week, Billy's 52-yard punt return iced a 24-8 victory for Houston. It was not his only contribution. Earlier, behind a blocking wall that has allowed only six sacks this year, Pastorini hit Johnson for a 27-yard score, which Billy then proceeded to autograph. As the replay shows, if you plan to stop Billy Johnson, you're going to need some flying shoes. It's all there in Houston. The tough, tight defense, the explosive, improving offense, strong coaching, and the best of attitudes. The Oilers are now five and one, and yes, they belong there. <laughs>